Hey guys, Dean Tech Talk here today. I just want to do a really quick recap on what happened in today's um, earlier keynote made by Apple, and that keynote is just mainly based on uh, the iPod lineup and a few other products that's being refreshed. So without further ado, let's jump into it. In the beginning of the keynote, app, uh, Steve Jobs announced there will be a iOS update really shortly, and that will be called the iOS 4.1. And with that update, you do get a lot of benefits. First of all, you're able to take HDR photos, which is high dynam dynam dynamic range photos. And also, you have Game Center. You're, you have the ability to upload full HD videos over Wi-Fi. Um, TV show rentos, and of course, it will fix a lot of major bugs. So yeah, and also um, he gave us a sneak peek, saying that there will also be a uh, update that's being called the iOS 4.2 in November. So after the OS issues um, are done, he moved on to the iPod lineup. In the beginning, he talked about the iPod Shuffle. That's the first device he talked about, and. With the new iPod Shuffle, it's um, you know it's going back to the older design. Um, I think it was like Shuffle second generation. It's kind of like that design now, where you have the buttons back, but you have the third gen um, feature, which is like voice over and playlist. And this device is only selling at sixty dollars Canadian. Moving on is the i oh wait it's the iPod Nano, which is right here. That's the next device he talked about. With the Nano, it's kind of funny because Shuffle gained the buttons back, but Nano doesn't uh, have the buttons anymore because Apple is trying to make the device really small. So he, um, well, they gave it on the buttons and make this little device touchable with their multi-touch uh, function. This uh, design really looked like. Um, a shuffle to me and also a little clipper on the back of the device so then you can clip it on your shirt, uh, pants, or anything like that. And this device, and here's like a little picture of each, it's really really small guys. The shuffle and the new nano looks really really small. The packaging is tiny, it's just really tiny. You can put it in your pocket no problem with the packaging too. Well the new iPod Nano sells at $159 Canadian for 8 gig and 16 gig for 189 Canadian. The Classic did not get a update, so he moved on to the iPod Touch. With the iPod Touch, um, there were a lot of rumors going on with this new uh, iPod Touch. Most of the rumors were right, and that includes a Retina display that is very remarkable. You know, Retina display looks amazing. I've seen it before, and I have to say, it's probably the best. Uh, display I've ever seen on a mobile device. So you're now able to get this uh, on the iTouch and also you do get a camera on the back and the front. The reason for that is because you also have the ability to have FaceTime over Wi-Fi. Since there's a camera on the back of course you're able to shoot HD video recording and that allows you to uh, videotape 720p video recording and that is amazing. Also, it's saying that it will have a better gaming performance, and the reason why is because Apple has finally integrated their A4 processor in this little touch device. With the um, with the touch, it's the same size it's available, which is the 8 gig, 32, and 64, and it's selling from 249 uh, to all the way to 429 dollars Canadian. After all the I pod uh, lineups is done, he move on to Apple TV. Apple TV has been released for four years, but it never got an update just because not that much people were, were willing to buy this product because they think it's not worth it, it's expensive, and you just can't get a lot out of this little, you know, expensive machine. So Apple has decided that they will lower the price of the machine to nine uh, to 119 uh, $119 Canadian. It was originally like 290 something or something like that. I don't know. I don't really look into Apple TV. And now he also um, made this little device very small, very tiny, so you can, you're able to hold it in your hand. That is amazing. Also, since they cut off the price for the machine, they will also cut off the price for you when you watch your movies or TV shows. 
Um, now you're not you don't have the ability to purchase movies and TV shows, but now you rent them, and you can rent them in a really cheap price for first run HD movies. Um, you can get it for three ninety nine, I believe, and for TV shows you can get it for a dollar. However, the only two TV channels you are able to stream right now are ABC channel and also the Fox. Well, but they're both good channels, so yeah, I'm pretty sure there will be more channels joining up later on. After the Apple TV, it is the iTunes. The iTunes, um, you know, get you not he gets an update. Um, blah. What am I saying? Okay. Anyways, the iTunes uh, get a icon update. The icon is different now compared to like the older iTunes. And also, you do get a, a really good function that Apple stress a lot during the keynote, which is ping, the iTunes ping. And um, I think the ping is kind of like Facebook and Twitter combined together in, in, in a way. And with this ping, you're able to um, follow uh, your favorite artists and your friends to you know, uh, know what their kind of music they're listening to, what kind of music they're buying, what kind of albums they're listening to, what kind of albums they like, what kind of artists they like, and what concerts they're going to and stuff like that. And when you follow your favorite artists, um, you can uh, know when they're uh, having their concerts, what kind of music they listen to, and stuff like that. So that's really great, iTunes 10. Um, with all these products, you're a you are able to pre-order them from the Apple site today, the Apple TV, Nano, Touch, Shuffle, you can pre-order today and I believe the iPod lineup you will get it around next week and the Apple TV you will get it in around four weeks and the iTunes 10 of course you can download it right away uh, today as if you're watching this video today I never actually download the iTunes 10 yet but I'm pretty sure I will either today or tomorrow um, yeah so that's it guys it's just a really quick recap I know I'm rushing this I do apologize but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to um, uh, know more in depth and details on individual products because I'm going to do that in a few days. And also, don't forget to comment below and like this video. 